So God uses hardship as a pathway to peace. He uses trouble. He uses... Just look at the story of Jesus Christ and all the apostles. They all went through a lot of hell. You know, persecution, stoning, prison. They went through all of that. And yet there was this utter reliance and dependency on, on God Almighty to where they forfeited their life to God to sustain them and all. Now, Apostle Paul was known for saying things like, I know what it's like to abound and I know what it's like to need, but in, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I feel like what God was putting on my spirit in terms of a word is he was saying to me, you know, learn how to be, learn how to rejoice in hard times. Learn how to rejoice in trouble. You know, there's these sayings that say, learn how to dance in the rain, right? And the reason why you need to learn this is because it's not going anywhere. The weather, it's just a matter of time. It's not if, but it's when it's going to rain. And in this this framework of what I'm talking about, rain, I'm, I'm, re I'm referring to trouble. It's just a matter of time until you get a phone call. It's just a matter of time until your car breaks down. It's just a matter of time. And this is not being pessimistic. This is just realizing and understanding life and, and the world that we live in. So I just feel like God, God put it on my heart. And he was just telling me specifically. He was just like, I want you to stop running away from these areas that, that everybody runs away from. And I want you to adopt an attitude and a mentality of rejoicing in the storm. And the reason why you can rejoice is because God is with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. And so from within the storm and the darkness and all of that, it gives God epic pleasure. It gives God, uh, you get God to rejoice and you bring God glory when you have faith in Him within the storm. When you trust and confide in God, when you do bold and courageous things in the name of God, when you stand in the, in the face of adversity and you stand there in the knowledge and the wisdom in, in your heart of saying, my God's going to get me through this. This brings God glory. You put a, a, a smile on God's face when you do that. And I just feel like God has created this world to be in this fashion so that it won't be easy. It will be hard. But it's hard because he wants to see, like, hard stuff produces fruit, right? Anything that you get quick, fast, and easy doesn't last. It breaks down. It doesn't last. But the things that you work for, the things that are hard, they do last. They're quality. And you appreciate it more. You're grateful for it. And it produces character. And so God is into the things that are hard. The devil is into shortcuts. The devil is into stealing, and uh, stealing, uh, not working for it, but just, just lie and cheat and con and steal and do shortcuts. And that's why those people, they never get to keep what they have, and they actually, um, you know, find themselves in a place of later on paying back everything they stole and all that. Whether they do it in prison uh, with their time. Or whether people are doing it to them because they're reaping what they're sowing. But they never, ever, ever get away with it. Because God is looking. And God won't allow it to, to, to be blessed. You can't take sin and, and, and expect it to be blessed. It just doesn't work like that. So, I just wanted to say this. And then I'm going to end the video. I just feel like the word that God is laying on my heart to share with everyone is that you know he watches you while you're in the storm and he's taking care of you while you're in the storm that everything's going to be okay that he's going to bring you through it learn how to rejoice and have a good attitude don't complain and murmur and say it's not enough or this or that but rather give God glory and praise from within the storm because the truth of the matter is is that it's easy to give God glory when you're on top of a mountain. It's easy to give God glory and praise when everything's going your way. The Bible says that, you know, even sinners know how to lend to other sinners. Um, if they know that they're getting their money back, right? Like, it doesn't... But, you know, we're called to a higher standard. As Christians, we're called 
to bless those who persecute us, right? To, to bless our enemies, to love our enemies, right? Because the fact here is, is that it's easy to love somebody that loves you. It's easy to bless them if they bless you. But God is saying, you know, it's easy that when you're, everything is going your way, it's easy to smile and say, thank you, Jesus. But he says, I want you to say, thank you, Jesus, when you're in the midst of calamity, when you're in the midst of a storm, because it's, it's in this time that you're actually making me smile, right? You're bringing him glory. Um, and, and as you all know, it is a relationship in the very end when you really look at it the whole thing is about a continual relationship of seeing God move and his faithfulness and his uh, stewardship of your life and managing you and uh, blessing you and promoting you and, and I just want you to know that everything's going to work out everything's going to be okay Every, it's, it's going to be okay it's going to be blessed but for you to have the mind frame of it's supposed to happen Right? Stop expect. Stop looking for the blue skies, all the all the all the days of your life. Right? It's not realistic for blue skies to be all year round. Right? And so it's like learn that calamity. There's a season for everything under the sun. There's a season for war. There's a season for peace. There's a season for everything under the sun in terms of reaping and sowing in terms of being on top and being on the bottom but everything ultimately works together for the good of those that love Jesus Christ in the end ultimately if you put your confidence and your trust and you love God ultimately it doesn't matter what season you're in you're going to come out of it much better than when you walked in because your confidence is in the Lord so the more of the story here is just give up your life and let God steward your life and just trust Him in all circumstances and learn how to rejoice in any situation. In Jesus' name, I bless you.